Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Two Men No Hope. I'm your host Daniel Stain. With me, always with me as always is Jamie Botman. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> I'm back. I'm answering straight away. <laughs> and uh, we've got a good one for you this week, as we are pre-recording this because Jamie, the lucky boss, is going on holiday. So we've had to rush a bit, and we've well. Jamie as a way to say sorry for giving us two days notice he's away for two weeks has made a few <laughs> games for this episode and we have a new music section at the end of course for this episode and uh how's your day been man uh busy went to see my brother um wasn't expecting the heat and uh when I was over there it was like we we're sitting in the pub garden and the beers were flowing and I was just thinking like, this is getting too easy and I was driving as well so I was like I can't drink I had the one beer I had a shandy oh mate I love a good shandy you know I like a shandy as well but they're dangerous because I always think I can have multiple yeah yeah especially up here you, you have like tenant shandy mm. oh bloody good I'm, days, man. <laughs> I'm sitting there in the heat I'm just getting I'm slowly thinking to myself I could get pissed right now if I wanted to <laughs> <laughs> so i had to fucking control myself and then after that i had the surprise well not a surprise but i didn't know it was happening so it was a surprise to me uh meal with charlotte's parents before we went out oh, to uh hell. portugal so everything that i had planned this evening uh packing wise is now been put back to tomorrow oh mate so... i fucking hate packing is charlotte on point or is it just you have both no, I'm normally the one that's on point. I, by now, I'd be packed. Okay, now. Charlotte's normally the last second one, so she's not stressing. But I am. Um, I was in full anxiety at about eight o'clock this evening. <laughs> 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 I was in full anxiety, but um, I've got over it now. I think the beer has calmed me down. So. Oh, that's all right. I um. I was going to go see Thor today, but. Because of travelling to Newcastle and all that for Tears of Fears, I was just like, ah, I'll have a chill out today. <clears throat> My hay has been really bad, so I haven't been able to sleep. But for the listeners, obviously you hear me moan about my cat. I've recently, I think it's been about three, four weeks now, he's been going into the garden. Mm. He doesn't get on him with any other cats, but he just stays in the garden. So on the weekends, if I'm home, I leave the window open. He can come in and out as he wants. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm just tired and blocked up. So I was like, I'm going to go have a nap. It's about six o'clock. Mm. So I finally managed to get myself to sleep for like an hour. And all of a sudden I hear like a noise in the kitchen, like someone's on the counter. No way. And I, he doesn't go on the counter. But obviously my back door's unlocked. I'm in the house all day. Nothing's locked. So I'm like, wake up. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And my some normal in there robbing. my normal thing is to shout out to Gizmo because he's a tit. He's always doing something he shouldn't. So mm. I get up and I'm in boxes as well because it's so hot. I get up and I'm like Gizmo, and then all of a sudden it just goes fucking mad. Like there's something moving fucking plates about. And so, <laughs> so I'm just fucking grabbed a towel, a towel. I'm running down the fucking stairs going Gizmo, what the fuck are you doing? And I go into the kitchen and there's some random fucking cat in my in my kitchen. <laughs> On the counter and it's running across the fucking windowsill and I'm just I'm yelling at Gizmo and I'm like, You fucking cunt, why have you let this in my fucking house? And I run into the kitchen and the cat goes into the the little I've got a little nook bit where the back door is. He leaps up the fucking wall and hits the ceiling with his fucking head and lands back down. I'm trying to get over the top of him to open the back door and then he fucking bolts through into the front room and jumps out the window he came in. And fucking Gizmo's hell. just sat on the stairs like what? <laughs> I'm like you fucking prick I was like I just had a fucking heart attack and he's just like looking at me a cat's not like territorial because if like a dog was in here Rocco would be fucking going mental well there's one cat that's smaller than him that he always wants to play with and it was that mm -hmm. cat the rest of oh. them yeah he's really like he puffs his tail up yeah yeah but he must have just sat there and watched this cat come into the fucking house and was like oh I've got a buddy <laughs> and comes in it goes up to my fucking counter yeah and it just oh mate 
and there's me in my fucking boxes with just a towel for no reason because I thought someone was in my house. <laughs> I was about to tackle some dickhead in my fucking kitchen with a towel on. Oh, mate. That's fucking brilliant. That is fucking brilliant. <sighs> Never had some fucking heart attack in my life. So that was it then. I closed the window, shut the curtains. I was like, you're a fucking cunt. I haven't seen him since. Don't know where he is. If I locked him in the garden, he could fucking stay out there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Prick. Poor cat. Wait. What are you, poor cat? <laughs> Fuck's sake. I have to redo all the washing now. like Because that's what he was running on the top of, my clean plates and that. Oh, mate. Mate, it's so fucking noisy. <sighs> that happened once when I was a kid, you know, in my nan's house. My nan didn't have no pets in it, but there was a like, she had like this weird like annex bit between the shed and the back door. All right. And I thought, I saw this cat out there and me being a kid, I just let it in, innit? <laughs> 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 it, it raised havoc in the house, bro. <laughs> I was like running all over the kitchen te- uh, tops. Everywhere it could get high up, it was running, didn't it? Oh, fuck's sake. I thought you were going to talk about the time you had someone come in the house. Oh, what, the burglar when I was at my mum's? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a fucking... That's mad. That was... I was out drinking that day, as fucking always. And uh, I was back at the house having a cigarette in the garden. And I hadn't locked the back door as I walked back in geezer followed me in through the back door and i was just pouring myself another drink i was standing at the fridge turned around the geezer holding my mum's fucking tv in it <laughs> <laughs> i just imagine you two locking eyes yeah we looked at each other and he he, he froze totally still and he tried to hit the tv but they had it they had like a unit like a, we used to call it the corner of crap but it was like a unit in the what that was made out of like the same stuff as the worktop mm-hmm. and they drilled a hole through that and the plug went through that but you can't pull the plug back through oh, okay so he was like trying to pull but it weren't the tv weren't coming off the plug so it was just on the floor <laughs> hanging and he fucked off down the garden i was throwing plates at him i threw a stool at him i was doing all <laughs> kinds of stuff and then uh i screamed up to the two boys because they were playing xbox upstairs and I was like, call the fucking police, call the police. And then I chased him down the garden, threw all the garden furniture at him as he was running up the garden. And he like hopped yeah. the fence. And that was the end of Jamie's journey. And you still came to work the next day as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't miss work, even if I'm fucked up. <laughs> has he found that out from you getting fucking stabbed <laughs> the other day and going into work? Yeah, got a stab with a gin glass in work the next morning. Like nothing <laughs> happened. I wouldn't be. I'd be like, nah. I'm not going in. <laughs> right. So what I'll do, I'll list the, f- I'll I'll do all seven headlines, and then you can pick it up from where you want to ask questions about any of them. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and switch on and remember all. <laughs> <laughs> so your first one is man has been arrest- arrested for ejaculating into coffee <laughs> how many of these are true uh two the rest two. are fake okay. <laughs> and you got to think about my what the boys used to try to do with me they're trying to figure out what kind of sick bullshit i'd make up but try to make it sound good if you know <laughs> um a whole woman was found uh eating uh swallowed inside of a snake found in his stomach okay couple I've arrested seen a video of that. huh i've seen a video i've actually got a video of that on my phone my mate works in it too all right so we're already on the same page here though <laughs> <laughs> um a couple have been arrested for into interspecies love triangle right that was pretty interesting i quite like that one um <laughs> man marries his AMC Pacer car ending 16 year marriage. So he left his missus 16 years later for this AMC Pacer car. Okay. Man gets his whole body tattooed, gets his genitals and his nipples removed. Okay. That was another headline. <clears throat> uh, last, uh, no, second from last, doctors had to create slash invent a new tool 
to remove a 23 inch dildo from a man's rectum. <laughs> 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 so far, I haven't heard any fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have been caught out occasionally in these games that uh, some of them have ended up being true, but I've somehow like remembered it and, <laughs> and written it down. <laughs> and thought it was my own. And a sexually frustrated dolphin forces a closure of a beach. <laughs> <laughs> So the last one's fake, the dolphin. You're just going to throw that straight off the bat? Yeah, yeah. And because, for some reason, I know a lot of sexual facts about animals, the uh, dolphins are, like, bisexual. So even though a female dolphin only gives it like, up. once a year, whatever, when a male dolphin's horny, they slap their genitals against each other. Fucking hell. Yeah. So there's no way that one. No, there's no sexually frustrated dolphins. They're all sorting themselves they're out. out there. Yeah, they're all out there wanking each other off. Fucking <laughs> okay, no. So I'm going to say that too. Mm. Yes. That is one of your fake ones, Dan. The, um... I've just shown myself to be sick fucking... I had a... Uh, got a gift, a joke gift one Christmas when I was like 19, I think it was. Like dolphin's penis? No, it was like a sexual animal facts, but it was like cartoons. <laughs> and each page was a different fact. You know, like snakes <laughs> have two penises and all that sort of stuff. I'll be honest, knowing your friends and knowing some of the stories you've told me in the past, <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> that was I'm a not surprised by that at all. There's a lot of openers when I was younger when you go out. <laughs> um... I don't think, even though I want the first one to be real, I don't think the first one was real. The man ejaculating into a coffee. It's a little bit too simple. Yeah. No, I, I don't know, I just think it's a, um, I can see it, it being done. It'd be like the person working behind the counter, you know, like people spitting food and stuff like that. Mm. Like, but I don't, th I haven't heard anything like that and I get pretty weird stuff come off my phone. <laughs> Well, that one's not necessarily true, but I've heard a story about people that worked previously in a, a job that I used to do. They used to do that into someone's sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> one of their team leaders that they hated. Not at, not at the place I work now, but one of the guys I worked with previously told me a story about it. But It reminds you... me of um, Harold and Kumar. Yeah. They go to the place and he's like... Uh... Oh, you don't want the special sauce tonight because there's a secret <laughs> ingredient. And he goes, it's all semen. <laughs> <laughs> there was a chicken shop that was rumoured to be shut down in Luton Town Centre that had like 23, I think it was like Dixie's or something, Dixie's Chicken. Oh, yeah. Barry Park. It had 23 different, uh, uh, what is it called? Like persons, oh, DNA. in the fucking mayonnaise, I think. Oh, fuck that it. was always mayonnaise a rumor like when you were a child. But you know, you know what it's like when you're a teenager. That's probably not true. Oh yeah, yeah, some drunk. Well, almost one hundred percent not true. I wonder if Dixie's is still going. If I googled it right now, I've just ruined the <laughs> lives. Did I? Well, I think I said the second one. I think was true. What was the second one? Second one was the whole woman found inside a snake's stomach. Yeah, I've I've been sent a video like uh, anacondas do it. Yeah, it was a small That's... like Taiwanese woman. She was found inside. Yeah, a snake of like one of them big fucking yellow ones. Mm -hmm. Um, she's yeah, she's still there's alive. One... There's a well. a video of a a snake that's eating like a whole horse, as well. There, Jesus Christ! Snakes are mental, man. Fucking don't mess with anacondas. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. You have a backbone, isn't it? <laughs> and two penises <laughs> um, what was number three number three was a couple was arrested for interspecies love triangle interspecies love triangle they were sleeping with their German shepherd well that's obviously true <laughs> remember you've only got two true about the seven Dan okay so hold on to that what was there was one about a guy that was tattooed I've seen yeah. many people that are full tattooed, but I don't know about having their... There was a cult 
that um, part of being in the cult, you had your genitals removed. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember what cult that was. No, but they weren't tattooed. That wasn't part of their... No. I don't think that one's true. There's a woman I was reading about yesterday that she had her body tattooed and she went blind because she got her eyeballs tattooed. Yeah, that's a common thing, isn't it, now? Yeah, yeah. But that's like a fluke because sometimes that doesn't happen. But sometimes yeah. it doesn't happen, sometimes it does. And then I heard of a woman getting her eyeball tattooed uh, green in Magaluf. Which uh, anyone that's from the UK knows that's like a shithole country to go to for partying for like teenagers. Yeah. Um, so you're not expecting the greatest tattoo artists to be out there. Not There might be some good tattoo artists out there, but a lot of them are just putting like camels on toes and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Well, anyway, this woman got a uh, tattoo on her eyeball, which was green. Her eye got infected and started pusting green. And she thought that was part of the effect. (laughs) Yeah, no, I don't think that one's true anyway. Even though I know there's a full body stuff, but not getting that stuff. No, that was partially true. What had happened with that one was there was a man, he had his whole body tattooed and um, had his nipples taken off. But he actually got his nipples replaced onto another part of his body. Fuck's sake part of scarification i think he put him like down like as teats down by his fucking lower lower belly <laughs> fuck's sake people man <laughs> um what was after that so the last two you haven't covered is the man that marries his amc pacer car and in his 16 year marriage and the doctor's creating slash inventing a new tool to remove a 23 inch dildo from a man's rectum The <clears throat> the car one I'm thinking might be true because I've seen a documentary on the telly of a guy that was in love with his car, mm. and he was sleeping with the fucking it, exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and kissing the dashboard and that. I don't think the dildo one's true because I'm pretty sure I would have heard about that one. Because <laughs> it's sexual. Because it's sexual. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'm gonna say that one was fake. Hmm, sex with animals or person leaving their marriage. Oh, <laughs> what a choice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Two Men No Hope podcast, guys. <laughs> Where you hear about either, what is it, bestiality or some kind of fucked up guy having sex with an exhaust. Yeah. Now, see, I've seen videos of both these situations. I bet you fucking have. Yeah, yeah. There's a really funny one of um, a guy who's trying to have sex with a motorbike and he's like revving the exhaust and it's like making his balls flap back and forth. That fucking cracked me up. Oh, mate. Where the fuck are you finding this stuff? People send it to me from work. I work with a lot of <laughs> Polish and like Romanian people. <laughs> um... I'm gonna go with the the sex couple. What they have sex with a German Shepherd? Yeah, yeah. You are correct, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got arrested out of the South London. Um, oh, it was in London. Yeah, South London one bed flat. They had a whole room dedicated. That considering it's a one bed flat, they had a whole room dedicated to having sex with their dog fasting thing was the was it having was it that much detail did it go into was it banging the woman and they just said that they have a they had a sex dungeon laid out that's fucking mental but there's obviously a one bed flat there's only two rooms in a one bed flat other than the bathroom so what the fuck where the fuck they were doing it where were they sleeping there wasn't enough information on this fucking article but (laughs) that's mental yeah I don't know why the car one didn't seem I think if you're, if I think you're me and you way, watch the same documentary. See, this is what happens. We watch the same. Me and you are so similar. We watch the same shit. <laughs> because I saw that documentary not long ago, I was like, "Oh, he's not going to believe that some geezer's like got with his car." I think it was the the marriage. I don't. I think if you're that way inclined, it's from a young age. 
Oh, what you think that before he'd even got married? Yeah, it'd be something because there was I'm pretty that sure in that, that documentary we saw though he was he did he was in a long term relationship with a woman before he finished he? it to get with. Uh... Oh, I don't remember that. There was that woman that married a roller coaster. Yeah, there's a woman that married a roller coaster. There's also a woman that's married a fucking fire hydrant. Makes you fucking laugh, doesn't it? There's a bar, there's a geezer that's married uh, St. Albans Cathedral. What I don't get, right, is if they can mar- marry inanimate objects, why couldn't gay people and that get married? What's but the surely difference? Surely they're an inanimate object thing. They weren't legally married, surely. The, the roller coaster, I remember seeing a picture of the marriage certificate. <clears throat> I'm sure I did. Thing is, I'm an ordained minister. You know, I could marry anyone. If you want to marry, if you want to marry, what from the internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get married, Dan, to your fucking left shoe, yeah, I can marry you to that left shoe if you want, mate. No, I'm not a lefty, mate. I'm always a righty. No, always oh, well. Sometimes <laughs> I swing to the left. You don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was ambidextrous, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that uh, prison thing where you're supposed to sit on your hand and pretend the stranger? Else? Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, the stranger. Yeah, you sit on your hand until it, you get like pins and needles. Mm. How we brought tra- this back to wanking again? Because you brought it up. Well, true. <laughs> right. So, would you rather eat a human shit? Right. Or an animal shit. Hmm. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. And you know yeah. why? You can go blind. You can go blind. I haven't I haven't made any more like assumptions on what human. Yeah, or what animal because or some what animals, animals feces is could be eating more, rabbit pebbles for yeah, you. Yeah, know? which is more dangerous yeah. than than others. Hmm. I'll go with humans. Humans. Yeah, yeah. Just on the basis that I've seen a video of that as well. Yeah. But then, it, Bear Grylls does it, doesn't he, with like elephant poo and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. He stands there and he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, squeezes the water out of it. When you have and nowhere else to go, you start squeezing. <laughs> fuck, just like, fuck off, mate. Do you know what? I would rather die, mate, than squeeze fucking water out of elephant dung. Yeah. Just let me lie on the floor and die. I think if I would have been it... done walking ages ago anyway, so to be honest. Oh, there's that, yeah. Yeah. I think if you keep the fact in your head that it's just a byproduct of your body because it's taken all of the nutrients it needs, I might be able to get through it. Nah. I'll be heaving like fuck. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a weird thing about temperature as well. I always think that about we like if it's, it's even a speck of warmness. Yeah. Maybe if they, if maybe someone weed in a glass and put some ice in it, I might I might be able to get I might be able to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like these questions are good, but I always I always need more. Like, what texture is it? Is it dry? Is it wet? Like, yeah, what have they I been thought eating? we wouldn't go that far in. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but I'm just like, oh, I can't Especially... make decisions without more information. <laughs> Especially on one that like that. I wrote that down in a in a quick. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And then I thought we'll skip past that. No, that was a good one. That that stump. I thought I was going to be firing through these. That stumped me a bit. <laughs> um, would you rather lose your arms or lose your legs? My legs. Why? Full on. Because, how would I, oh no, I suppose I could masturbate with my my feet. Because you get in a wheelchair, didn't you? And you use your legs to move around. I could still cook, I could still bathe, I could still masturbate, I could still... But if I've got no arms, I've got to do everything with my legs. That's true. That's yeah. incredibly annoying. Yeah. It could be done. It has. I've seen, there's a woman that I saw on TikTok. That can drive a truck, isn't it? Yeah, and she's yeah. got this quality, like all these apparatus in the, in the car that are really cool and like power to her. But um, like we said, in the last episode, if I'm if there's too many downers, I just give up. I think there's a lot more uppers with your arms than your legs. So if you was given the choice, 
if I cannibals were going to take one or the other, yeah, I'd be like, they're legs. taking their legs. Yeah, because then like, well, make me chair, bitch. You get those wicked like rabbit leg things that people do like the sprinting with. <laughs> right, then, fuck it. <laughs> what are they yeah. called? Right, so would you rather sex with a man with a vagina or a woman with a penis? Right, now this one is definitely going to need some more context because <clears throat> I've seen both. I bet you have. Yeah, yeah. So, does the woman with a penis look like a woman? Like a, like she yeah. looks like... Yeah. And is the man with a vagina like really hairy? Yeah, so the man with the vagina is like a fat, hairy, like Danny DeVito looking motherfucker, yeah? Right. And the woman with a penis is like, I don't know, I don't know Angelina Jolie. Mm, I would have gone there, but I would take the woman with a penis. Yeah? I think I could handle it that way. Like, I, I, it's like the hair, the excessive like hair. I, couldn't, I don't know. That's the, do you know what I always say? Because obviously these conversations come up, but I always say the reason... Well, one of the main reasons, other than not being attracted to men, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not, I could not think about being gay is the hair. Like, mm -hmm. I could not deal with hairiness, and that you know, yeah. I could not deal with it, even the thought of it. Yeah, if a woman, like, I'm quite hairy. Mm. If a woman said to me, "Oh, like, I was dating her for a while, and she's like, oh, can you shave your legs?" Or, yeah, I don't like it. I'd be like, yeah, right then. Because I understand it, like I, I sometimes. I, the only reason I don't shave like my armpits because they get really sweaty is because I, they like, grow back worse. It's weird, isn't it? Because I've never had a conversation with a girl before where they've even mentioned hair. I'm not very hairy at all, anyway. But it freaks me out so much that I I wonder why girls don't get bothered by it. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. She was like, "Oh, can you get rid of it?" I'll be like, "Yeah, right then." Yeah, because I get it. Absolutely fucking get it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. But so yeah, one with a penis. I went out with a girl once. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell that story. <laughs> as long as she doesn't have a penis, because then you have to <laughs> keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, uh, let's say Mediterranean uh, origin. Right. Yeah. And um, she was quite hairy on the lower back and I remember having the awkward conversation of being like you're a little bit uh, too hairy down there do you know what I mean <laughs> and that was fucking awkward I remember yeah, that I was so it was. awkward because I was young as well I didn't know what the fuck to say anyway um right what would you <laughs> I make myself laugh right would you rather be without elbows or knees Elbow, elbows Elb yeah, definitely elbows there yeah. because you could not walk like, you imagine walk. trying to walk without knees yeah, yeah. I was like doing it earlier when I, when I was writing it down yeah I was trying to walk without bending my legs <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I had this image that they would be like floppy but that would be without bones wouldn't it so yeah they'd be like really rigid they'd be like super rigid yeah you wouldn't be able to bend them you'd essentially walk like um a stick figure. Do you know uh, Warwick Davis? Is it Warwick Davis? The little guy. The little midget. Where he yeah. walks and he just... There's no bending. It's just like... Like that. <laughs> That's what I was doing when I, was, I wasn't bending my legs. <laughs> where if you got elbow, if you have no elbows, you could just like... Yeah, you'd still... It would be awkward to... as fuck. But you could yeah, still, you could you could still you live. You like pour it from above into your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Or like put a straw in it. Or I'll just put, I'll just put, put everything down and then drink it out of a sippy cup or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, so every time you farted, would you rather it be loud? No, that doesn't make any sense. Hang on. Oh no! Every time you farted aloud, it was just a fart. But every time you. Um, Farted silently, you shut yourself. Oh, you <laughs> yeah, fuck it, that's terrible. <laughs> I hate farting in public as well. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things I don't mind, but I can't bring myself to I get really embarrassed. 
But then shitting yourself is a pretty fucking big deal, isn't it? Especially, like, there's been a few times where I've been, like, thinking, Question if I it. am close, I am, if I'm not making it, I'm wearing fucking grey joggers or saying, oh, like, it's <laughs> going to be fucking diabolical, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have to go with the loud farts, man, because I, I'd, I'd eventually get over it, but you never get over shitting yourself. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what I mean? Sharting. No. Nah. As an adult, I've work. never done it, and uh, I thank fuck I haven't. There's a guy at work that uh, he he just didn't want to work. Basically, like there's a whole story behind him. But one day he shouted. Oh god! And he told people because he thought it'd be funny. But I reckon he didn't do it. He was saying it to get out of work. Mm. But that was it because he told everyone that he shouted. And the next day he was like, "No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't." <laughs> I was like, "But you told us you did, so you did." Fucking shit yourself. He went disgusting. Home. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> He's trying to get under that fucking towel to that moth. Man, yeah, they can't help themselves. Um, would you rather eye drops of vinegar? Right. In your eyes, obviously. Or sandpaper for toilet paper? Sandpaper, toilet paper. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you think vinegar would blind you eventually? Yeah. 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 You, you, clean, you clean, like, countertops and stuff with it, can't you? Yeah, true. White vinegar, you can clean a kettle, make it clean, get rid of it. Um, and toilet paper at anywhere that is in your house is like sandpaper anyway. I don't know. Because I, like, I, I've got weird... Obviously, you don't want to keep going back to shit. Like, for some reason, I had to... <laughs> I must have shit on my mind at this point. But, um... When I'm especially when I'm out and about I'm very over the top about cleanliness in that department I get like really overwhelmed if I think that I haven't wiped enough and stuff like that <laughs> I get really fucking weird about it all <laughs> <laughs> but then again I can't deal with anything in my eyes let alone eye drops like I tried to put in coloured contact lenses once and I had a complete and utter fit oh mate when I first got my contact lenses it took me a year to get up the courage to go get them Oh, really? And they're like, oh, we'll we'll show you how to put them in and out. And and they were like, do you want the optician to put them in first? And I was like, yeah, please. So she, they they put it in. And I was like, oh, these are quite comfortable actually. And then I sat for forty minutes trying to get one of them out my eye. I just couldn't couldn't get it out. And I sat there and I started panicking. I had to get someone to like hold my eyes open and get them out for me. <laughs> and for like, some reason, I went back the week later and tried it again, but. Yeah, no. That's more perseverance than me. That that one time would have been my only time, Dan. Well, it, it was either that or... Because when I clean all my gear, it gets really steamed up. I can't see anything. So I was like, I have to wear them. Mm. So that's the only reason I did it. Especially with COVID, we're like... We had to wear... Like, we still have to wear hair nets. And you got your mask on. And then we had a visor on as well. And you just couldn't see anything when you're working. Yeah, you'd be totally blind, yeah. And the yeah. visors were shit, weren't they, for steaming oh, up as well? Fuck. Fucking terrible, man. I used to hate them during COVID, man. That used to be one of my worst nightmares. Especially when, like, the temperature was, like, way up in the summer. And yeah. they'd be like, I'm using a scalpel. You know what it's like. You're using, you're using sharp blades. At work, I was using a scalpel, which is designed to cut your skin, yeah? Yeah. And I couldn't see. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they're yeah. still like, no, it's all right. If you can go up to 28 degrees, fuck off, bruv. you got anyway. people in the office that have to wear shit. Yeah. Um, would you rather bad breath for the rest of your life or smelly feet for the rest of your life? Oh, that's a good one. Smelly feet. I just can't. My teeth are quite bad anyway, so I always worry that my breath is quite bad. Mm. And I know how much that plays in my mind. At least with like smelly feet, they're not. You can't smell them until you've taken everything off. Yeah. Whereas, like, you're talking to people like, all the time, and yeah, yeah, no, fuck that, smelly feet. There was a guy I went to school with that mum he used to have terrible feet, and mum used to make him put slippers on when he came around the house. His feet smelled so bad. That's bad. That's bad. I remember. I remember. I went to a girl's once, and I was like a teenager, so I was probably out playing football, or whatever, before I went and 
saw this girl and her little sister apparently went and complained to her mum that my feet were stinking my shoes were stinking in the hallway <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> okay, but um, no we've worked we've both worked with a guy with like bad hygiene and I always make a point because I'm always so paranoid about my breath and like BO and stuff that if someone is like fucking if I smell if I go home and discover that I smell, all my breath smells, and you haven't told me all day, I'll be pissed off. Yeah. So I always make a point to, I don't try and say it nicely, but I'll be like, oh, mate, I've got some deodorant in my bag or something. Do you want to go and spray yourself? Or I've got some, like, mints or something, some chewing gum. And we, because we had a guy that I remember had to be spoke to twice while I was working with him. Well, both of us were working with him. Yeah, but he he never improved his personal hygiene, and he never talked to me about it either. So it's weird as fuck. Yeah, no, there's a guy that we had at work that had a letter from the people up in the office. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That said, we've had some complaints about your bo. I don't know if they worded it that way, um, but he never sorted it out. There's loads of people there. There's one guy that smokes so much weed, and he knows he stinks, and he's like, "Oh man, there's weed comes out in my skin." And yeah, he fucking reeks. Pause. Yeah, yeah, absolutely reeks. He doesn't work there anymore, but fuck, that was bad. I'm always very paranoid. If I've been out on the Raz, and then I'm in the next morning, even though I've had showers, brushed teeth, done everything possible that you can have to you to yourself, as soon as I start sweating, I'm sweating out fucking alcohol. <laughs> so then, it, it, <laughs> so then I just don't drink no more. When I'm on an early shift or on an earlier shift than normal, I won't drink the night before. Because I yeah, don't like yeah. it. Oh yeah, full on. I don't that. like feeling that way, innit? Uh, what's the next one? Right. Would you rather be mauled to death by a giant hamster? Nutty <laughs> <laughs> professor. Or killed by t- uh, gi- a tiny rhino? <laughs> 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 Try and imagine the headlines. <laughs> Probably the tiny rhino. <laughs> Just, Just for slowly the chips people. away, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just for the headlines in the paper. Man's <laughs> killed by tiny rhino. <laughs> um, would you rather be raped by a horse or rape a horse? Rape a horse. Definitely. Sticking it back to him. Always flaunting that massive wang at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more about the pain you'd go through <laughs> if he did get off the. Uh... There was that bloke that went to hospital, didn't he? Because he he got bashed by a horse and it like ruptured his insides. Yeah, fucking disgraceful, yeah, man! What an idiot! <laughs> fucking disgraceful. <laughs> um, would you eat your dead friend or kill? Hang on, I can't even read my own writing. Well, I might know the answer to this one now because I've known how your cat your cat's been uh, treating you today. <laughs> Would you rather eat your dead friend and co- or kill and eat your uh, gizmo if you were stuck on a dead island, a uh, d- uh, desert island? Oh, well, I'd eat the dead the friend, wouldn't I? You'd eat the friend first. Yeah, because gizmo. he's dead, isn't he? If I eat the cat, the mate's just gonna rot, and I've lost out. So I'd eat the mate first, slowly. So if I was on, if we, we were on a desert island and I died, you'd eat me. Hell yeah. No, that's so wrong with you, Dan. That's that without, fucking so wrong. Not even yeah. not even crossed my mind. <laughs> it's be done. You'd be you'd be putting your fucking finger on my neck waiting for the pulse <laughs> to run out. That's what you'd be doing, you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Thrive to survive, man. That's what always makes me laugh when um I watch like Snow Pierce of the film in that and all that sort of stuff it's like just do it there was a really good film uh, with Chris Hemsworth where he's like a whale uh, they catch whales yeah I think I remember that yeah 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 and they all and start freezing all... and shit on the boat and that yeah and they're like oh we can't eat this person and stuff like that yeah you can <laughs> <laughs> sure you can well there's that true story about that rugby team isn't it that happened in the Alps 
Well, they got they, stranded had to eat. They or? crashed. There was a rugby team flying, a French rugby team. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's, there you go, they're French, aren't they? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I could be totally making up they're French. Oh, okay. They just thought, I thought they were French. Um, there was a film made about them. And they crashed and landed in the Alps, and obviously that's frozen, isn't it? So all these bodies are laying there frozen. And then, like, when the first one of them dies, once they figure out they're not going to be able to eat or get rescued anytime soon, mm. he's like, just eat me once I'm dead. And then, like, they have a whole debate over it and stuff. I think it ends up, like, six of them or seven of them survive the whole deal, but they're eating all the rest of them. Yeah. And then, like, they got in it because you can get actually addicted to eating human uh, flesh. Right. And a few of them got addicted and had to be like fer- like through, going through therapy so they weren't um, trying to eat their fucking partners and shit. <laughs> like it was weird <laughs> ass shit going on. But it, apparently it's true. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Right. So, so what's my next one? So would you rather piss every time you stand... Or shit every time you sit. (laughs) 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 Fucking hell, man. You're on fire with these questions, isn't you? (laughs) So what was it? Piss every time I stand. Or shit every time I sit. Yeah. Stand. It's just easier, isn't it? Eventually, it's only going to be like a trickle, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Well, you could do the nappy with the, the shit in, but... Yeah, but you'd be constantly sore. You'd have a rash all the time, wouldn't you? You'd have to get that grey tub stuff. Yeah. Pseudo, pseudo, is it pseudo cream? Pseudo no. cream. Pseudo cream. Yeah, I'd rather be peeing. Eventually it all just become trickles. <laughs> Sometimes I get trickles anyway because I'm that age. Would you rather a blowjob from a shark or anal from three giant scorpions? <laughs> scorpions? Scorpions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Actually, I don't know what the penis of the scorpion even looks like, so you've thrown me off there. Uh, The scorpions. You'd rather give them receive, Dan? Well, I suppose you'd receive... Yeah, give them receive. I think I would get over it more than having my penis shredded. No, I don't know. I'm worried about my bum. Yeah, and, well, I've had a lot of problem. I've had a lot of stomach problems, so it's pretty bad back there anyway. So if they want to go for it, then that's their own nightmare. Yeah, well, you want, yeah, you want to walk into that massacre? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're they're not sleeping as much as I am, so I think I'll I'll do it that way. Would you rather have sex with a walrus or never have sex again? The only time you can have sex is with the walrus. A sex with the walrus. You would do it. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. You. Oh, what's the point if you can't <laughs> anymore? <laughs> If it's with a walrus or not, I don't care. <laughs> Which movie would you rather happen? I can't even read my fucking writing now. Would you rather every hair on your body plucked or every nail removed? Oh, mate, hair. Yeah? I can't deal with anything to do with nails or teeth. Like shoving. That's, what? No, did you, do you remember in Lost where Saqib. Is it Saqib? Yeah. Um, I was torturing He shoved the bamboo up the guy's fucking neck. No. Oh, mate. Nothing to do with teeth or nails, gives man. I still PTSD about 20 years later. That film, com- that uh, thing come out in like 2001 or something. I hate it. Oh, especially in like horror films as well where they're getting dragged away and they're pushing it. They're trying to grab onto the floor and it breaks their nails. All right. All right. That I, I can watch a lot of things, but nails and teeth, man. Nails and teeth. Nails and nails teeth. And teeth. <laughs> right. So we'll move on to the next game, <laughs> where I will eventually, Pete, I will eventually um, show my real fucking mental health issues. That I'm not the sick one in this fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> So one true three, just to remind everyone, is I'm going to give three situations here which are about me or something I've done in the past 
which I believe I haven't told Dan, but I could have, which could ruin the entire game. <laughs> so <laughs> my memory's pretty bad anyway. So I think it'd be um, right. and so one of them is going to be true, and two of them is going to be fake. And Dan's got to try and decipher from my answering of the questions which ones are real and which ones are not. So the first one is: for a short period in high school, I pretended I could speak Gaelic <laughs> until I was eventually caught out. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second one I met a girl from Bebo and MSN who accused me of being of catfishing her and we spent four hours sitting on a, a, parch, uh, a park bench in silence yeah right I once called a friend's girlfriend while drunk and to her hang on and Told her she wouldn't be good enough in his life or mine. The park bench. You think the park bench? I think the park bench, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to ask any questions at all. <laughs> <laughs> just go straight in. <laughs> I, think it's, I, know, I just think that's something that's incredibly uncomfortable and I don't think you would have told me about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the first one, Dan. Fuck off. I pretended for a short period in high school that I could speak Gaelic. And uh, when people, uh, there was a, one of my mates caught me out by, there was a girl that actually could speak Gaelic from Scotland. All right. And he said to her, I don't think he can. So can you try and speak to her? Because I was saying, they would be like, say, how do you say this? And I'd just be like speaking back in gibberish to him, innit? Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> and then the, um, she started speaking proper Gaelic to me, innit? And I just said, oh, I need to go home, innit? And so I'd walk in off. <laughs> I proved myself to be the compulsive liar that I was. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking mental, mate. Oh. I don't know what it is about being a teenager, but I just chatted shit for about 10 years. Oh, yeah, you all do, do you? Just to try and make out that you're... Something more than you are. Yeah, because kids are cruel. <laughs> <laughs> I hate so, school. What did you think of the games, then? Oh, there's only one question? Yeah, there's just the one question. Oh, uh, mate, I thought it was fucking... Yeah, that was good, man. I um, I made a little game up. Oh, um, did you? Yeah, I thought I'd keep it a secret. See if I could get it set up, because I've got images to show you. Images? Oh, no. Images. Are no, we... it's not like that. Oh, right. It's not like that, but it's not like that. <laughs> I was like, please don't be like my would you rather, where I was getting... I was obviously getting more drink on me as I was writing that. <laughs> Some of them I wouldn't even put on it now. So, I have one, two, three, five sex positions that are popular in certain countries, and I want to see if you can figure out what country they're popular. So this works on both YouTube and podcasts because I will show you the image and I will describe to you how it's done. <laughs> and then you've got to tell me and they're not like weird countries or anything like that they're pretty well known popular countries. countries yeah i mean yeah so it's not uh, like i'm not so trying it's to like, a, it's like, like a sex position that is most popular in that country yeah it hasn't been made to that but that's the position that in a vote they like the most right so our first position it is called the galloping horse oh. The galloping horse. Yeah. So I pressed the button then and it gave it thing of all and right, so <laughs> <laughs> So how you do it? Your guy sits in a chair with his legs outstretched, straddling him, you lower yourself on top of on top of him with your legs also outstretched in front of you. Hold onto his shoulders for balance and have him hold your waist as you move. The, the Italians like that. Why, why do you think the Italians Italians like that? I don't know. They like a little bit of... 
It's because like of the, the horse, to do right? the work. You're, you're thinking because, like, the Italian stallion, aren't you? I'd, well, ha- I wasn't. No, but I could be. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're going with? Mm-hmm. All right, so you were wrong. It's actually Poland. Poland. Yeah, yeah. So it says, Polish culture is very traditional, but that does not translate to our sex lives. We are becoming more open with new experiences and experiments. The name itself implies the freedom of explore and the act follows suit. Fucking hell. Yeah. So, Polish people... That is a surprise, I'll be honest. The galloping horse. I always thought Polish people... Oh, well... They pretty much explained it in that. I always thought they would be a missionary. Well, there's that, yeah. So for some reason, the animation on this one decided to mess up. But this one is called The Amazon. Have your man lie down (coughs) on the bed and bring his knees towards his chest. His legs will wrap around you as you squat down onto his shaft. The Amazon. How's the movement happen, though? So it's like she's squatting up and down. So you're on your back with your legs up to her shoulders, like your knees up. Mm. And then she sort of squats up and down. Right. <laughs> the Amazon. <laughs> the Amazon. The Amazon. Not right, the okay. packaging company. <laughs> Brazilian. Oh, you motherfucker. Is it? Yeah, yeah, look. Brazil. Wee! You motherfucker. Brazil has a very religious, conservative background, so we grew up learning that sex is wrong. But I say more women really are finally focusing on their own pleasure and letting go of that taboo. So it's there more about the woman being in control. I thought, well, the reason I said Brazilian is because Brazilian women are known to have big booties. True. And they are Amazonians as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Fucking hell, I didn't think you'd get any of these, so well done, man. I wouldn't have. That's one. <laughs> one zero, right. Next one. This one I think is going to throw you. Nice, easy missionary. Lay down on the bed while your guy lies on top of you, facing you. Now for the twist, have him pop himself up on his hands so he's slightly distant from you. Missionary. Missionary. Yeah. See, for me, just because I know there's so many, like, religious fanatics, I'm going to say America. Yeah, because missionary is quite a standard. Yeah. There's no thrill. You're in there to fucking provide the children. Sow the land of the seed. (laughs) That's what you're supposed to be doing. I'm going to have to flip these when I do the YouTube. So you were wrong. Belgium. Belgium. I thought yeah. they'd be kinky fuckers. I thought they'd be like spinning on the, she'd be spinning on his dick or something in Belgium. Well, so apparently it's a favourite in Belgium for its romantic vibe. The missionary position offers multiple sensations. Being so close to each other, the eye contact and the ability to kiss during sex brings out its passion, tenderness and sensuality. No way. Yeah. That is a shocker. Yeah. So, this one, funnily enough, I don't think I've ever done. Which says a lot about me. You're telling me you've done the Amazonian, where you wrapped your legs around like a fucking... Oh, no, true, yeah, no, I haven't done that one either. I might, though. I wonder if Hannah will do that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, the animation like on this is pretty bear. crap, because they're stick men, huh? <laughs> Wrap your legs around like a koala bear, and just like, let yeah. her hump you. <laughs> <laughs> just a tree or something. <laughs> right, so this one is called The Laying Down Doggy. So, her face is actually down but you can't tell that because it's a stick man so lay face down on the bed so your guy can lay on top of you and enter you from behind nice and easy laying down I am gonna say, can I give you two here and if you one can. of them are right I'll get it it's either gonna be America or, that, or us okay because I know about six blokes that have told me that's their favourite position really yeah see I, I really like doggy because I'm a butt guy so I like look staring at the butt but I'm never Never that to that. me feels like they've tried to get away and you've just gone nah you're like no you'll stay there <laughs> yeah. get down <laughs> and you've got on top just to keep going but so you, what do you say America or, or UK us. yeah 
And that is old Aussie land. Fucking hell. Yeah. Can maybe, it's, the... maybe it's our guys over there when they're on their fucking gap years. <laughs> Oh, that's true, yeah. There's that as well there. <laughs> Combine the sexual dominance of the doggy position with the closeness and sensual... I wouldn't say sensuality. Of spooning. And you've got the Aussie's favourite. There's a strong traditional masculinity that exists here. I don't think that. It feels more like rape. <laughs> yeah, she's being held face down and he's just ca- carrying on. The, yeah, what, he's, just, he's just going with it. But yeah, the old Some Aussies. Might like that. Now this one would completely throw me off. But I get completely where they're coming from, why this country is big on this. Right, so. Stand in, doggy. Stand in front of your man, so you're both facing the same direction. Bend over as he enters you from behind. For balance, either <laughs> hold onto something in front of you, or have him hold your arms back. Stand in, doggy. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you said it makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. Once I explain to you why it's their favourite. Is it a racial cliche, Dan, that it makes no. sense? No, no, not yeah. at all, no. Um Just think they like the, the outdoors, that's why it, it makes sense. You know I mean? would have said Australia if you said that. But we've already had Australia. I know. Russia. Russia? It's fucking yeah. freezing. <laughs> yeah, well, he's trying to keep it warm, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> right, so last one. Canada. Can- well, that's freezing as well. No, but they've got all the hills and the woods and everything like that, isn't they? Oh, true, yeah. Just like regular dog, it provides a prime angle to hit the G-spot. But this standing version can be done anywhere. An important factor in Canada where two-thirds of the people have fessed up to getting busy in the great outdoors. Canadians <laughs> are generally open-minded about sex. Standing sex is fairly common since you can do it anywhere. And if you're outside, this this one doesn't risk getting down the bugs, dirt or poison ivy. <laughs> Canada. I didn't... Th- we're not even on that. That was that was a, an article from Women's Health magazine. Oh, really? Yeah, and English people aren't even in it. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, because English people are prudes, man. Like, when you think about the general public, they won't tell you about their sex lives most of the time. No, there is that as well, yeah. (laughs) But I honestly thought missionary would be like America, like you said. Mm. I'm sure they always claim to invent missionary as well. I'm sure, like, I've I've seen so many things about, like... Because it's... uh, Well, it might not even be... Yeah, it might not even be as religious as it comes across to us in the UK over there. Because mm-hmm. obviously they all they think we're about is fucking teas and crumpets, yeah. So it might be the same like thing coming back to us, but fucking they seem mental breath. Like like the amount of different like uh Christian factions and fucking all that shit going on over there. I just assumed there would be so many people getting yeah. held together by priests, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, that was quite a good little one. I'm I'm glad you got one. I I wouldn't have got any to be honest. When I was looking at it, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. That was pure that, fluke. I got that fucking blue <laughs> one. <laughs> pure fluke. <laughs> fucking funny as though like, fucking Amazon. How would you even? That just seems so uncomfortable because your legs are. She's squatting down and your legs are up. Over like her shoulders, isn't it? It's like opening your bum hole for some reason. I can't remember where it was now. You had to like lay back with your legs up. Oh, and you strap what the koala? That's the koala bear one. The isn't koala, it? yeah, yeah. And then she, but well, that was that one, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. They're all gone now. It doesn't matter. People will remember anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was weird because you're like you're like hanging on to her as though she's a tree branch, and then she's just carrying on as normal. Yeah, yeah. Squatting uh, up and down. So you essentially become the beta. Yeah. yeah. Amazon. <laughs> snoo snoo. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. After all that, it's the end of the show. There was uh, three games there. Well, four games, including yours, Dan. But um, 
one of them had to be cut short because I <laughs> 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 the drinking kicked in. It was <laughs> the drinking kicked in, and uh, Jamie got more explicit as he was going along and wasn't happy with it in the end. But anyway, <laughs> I think that was a good show overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, if you want to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, it's, it's two men no hope at G. It's two men no hope on all of those. And if you want to send us any feedback in or just send us some general bloody content. It's uh, two men no hope at gmail.com and then I'll pass it over to you, Dan. So I just cleaned my nose again. It's a very tissuey episode. So for the music corner this week, we have a gentleman named David Peter and he sent us a little bit of a bio in his in his email and we also found his Facebook which will be put in the description of the podcast and the and the YouTube. But he says he's currently working on a new album. He's American, but he's been living in La- Laos in Southeast Asia for the past 11 years. Uh, he does music out of his house in his personal studio. He's been writing and recording music for about 25 years or so, but haven't released anything personally until three or four years. It's hard to describe what genre of music he falls in, but he's always been an indie guy at heart. So he's given us a few songs and I felt the one I wanted to play was called Assembled Masses Um, and that's what we'll be playing for you now. So this is David Peter and the song Assembled Masses. With one foot at the door How 
how do I fake it? Bring me a box of wine. How do we say it when we all cross the line? How do you do it? I'm not really sure. How did you play it with one foot up the door? How do I fake it? Bring me a box of wine. How do we say it?